with three years in AppSec or DevSecOps, this person has noticed the industry leaning more on tools than core security skills. Um, I'm going to ask if you think that's true, Jeevan, if that if you're seeing the same thing. And um, this person continues to ask, uh, what projects or areas would you focus on today to build real expertise and stand out beyond being just tool savvy? Great okay. question. Yeah, love the question. Um, I, I think it, the for me, I haven't experienced the same because um, it, it depends on the type of organizations you are at. Um, if you are at very, very large organizations, um, I can see that um, having those security uh, tooling abilities is probably more important. If you are in smaller smaller organizations, 10,000 or less, um, I can see that um, having those core security skills will be really important. And again, what uh, I want from my security engineers is to understand the data. And uh, Jen talked a little bit about reducing the friction. Ultimately, I don't want my engineers to really think too much about security. I do want to, them to think about it when they're creating their requirements documents or design docs. But beyond that, if they are using the secure pay path, um, the regular workflows that most engineers need to use, sometimes you have to go off the pay path. But if they use that, they should get a bunch of security things for free. Yeah. So um, stuff like if you it maybe have an authorization framework, if you are doing your own weird authorization stuff, um, you're gonna get in trouble. But if you use a regular framework that everyone else is using, our team will be focusing efforts on making sure that's secure and that's built in the right way. So um, those are the sort of things, like think at a very high level, think about remediating full classes of vulnerabilities that will help show the impact that you have during interviews 